Hello everyone, today we will be learning about reproduction in organism which is the very first topic of 12th standard. So in this particular topic we will be learning what is reproduction, modes of reproduction and what is the difference between modes of reproduction, two types of reproduction. So firstly what is reproduction? Reproduction is the characteristic of all living organisms. Okay. Why it is the characteristic of all living organisms? Because reproduction leads to the formation of new organisms which are belonging to same kind. Okay. So what is reproduction basically? Reproduction is the process in which similar kind of organisms are formed which belong to same species. Okay. And reproduction takes place for continuity of the species. So modes of reproduction. There are two types of modes of reproduction. First is asexual reproduction and second one is sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is also known as apomixis. Why it is known as apomixis? Because in asexual reproduction there is no formation of gametes. Only single parent is involved in asexual reproduction which does not uh, give rise to genetically dissimilar organisms. Okay. So, that is why asexual reproduction is also known as apomixis. Sexual reproduction is also known as amphimixis. Why it is known as amphimixis? Because two different parents are involved in sexual reproduction. One parent is male parent and another parent is female parent. As two different parents are involved in sexual reproduction, their genetic component is different. So whatever new organism which will be formed, it will be variant or else it will be different from the parent. That is why sexual reproduction is also known as amphimixis. So let us study the further differences between asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. In our sexual reproduction, as I told you, only one single parent is involved in this particular process. So, there is no formation of gamete. Our sexual reproduction mein kya hota hai? gamete is not at all formed. Okay. So, uh, if at all, uh, why gametes are not formed? Because sex organs are not developed over the parent. Okay. But in some cases, gametes are formed but there is no formation of zygote. So, there will be no fertilization. Okay. So, in our sexual reproduction single parent is involved, no gametogenesis occurs, then there is no fertilization, gamete nahi banta hai, to fertilization ka sawal hi nahi aata hai. No fertilization, so no zygote formation and after zygote is formed, what is formed? Embryo is formed. So here in asexual reproduction no zygote formation is there. So there will be no embryogenesis. Okay. So whatever uh, new offspring which will be formed, it is formed from the single parent. So it will be genetically similar to the parent organism. Okay. So whatever new organism which is formed, it is genetically similar to the parent organism. Okay. So we will uh, study further few points of asexual reproduction. Few points of asexual reproduction. Other point is whatever new organisms which are formed, these are formed by which division? Mitosis. Mitosis. Mitosis se naya organisms form hote hai. And body cells are involved in formation of new organisms. What are body cells? Body cells are the somatic cells which will give rise to new organism. As the body cell is involved in formation of new organism, definitely the new organism which is formed is altogether carbon copy of the parent organism. Okay. So as there is no gamete formation in asexual reproduction, definitely this asexual reproduction process is quite fast. Okay. So let us study about the differentiating point of sexual reproduction. As I said asexual reproduction does not involve formation of gametes. Why? Because single parent is involved. Sexual reproduction mein kya hota hai? two parents are involved, two parents are involved wherein 
one parent is the male parent and another parent is the female parent male parent produces male gamete female parent produces female gamete okay whenever there is formation of the gamete what happens there is gametogenesis process which takes place in the sex organs so whatever organisms which are reproducing sexually they will have sex organs which will produce on timely basis male gamete and female gamete which will fuse male and female gamete will fuse and there will be formation of zygote so fusion of the male and female gamete is known as fertilization and this fertilization leads to formation of diploid cell that is zygote and once the zygote is formed this single diploid cell will divide mitotically to produce embryo so embryogenesis is also seen in sexual reproduction so in sexual reproduction as two different gametes are fusing to form one zygote and this zygote is dividing to form embryo definitely whatever new organism which will be produced it will have genetically dissimilar qualities okay some of the qualities of the male parent and some of the qualities of female parent so few other top uh, other points which will be learning about sexual reproduction is that whatever gametes which will be produced by the sex organs that will be by which uh, division meiosis so meiosis occurs for formation of gametes wherein in our sexual reproduction mitosis occurs for formation of gametes then here sexual reproduction as it is a very long process gametes are formed then fusion takes place zygote formation occurs definitely it is a very slow process because gamete banne ke liye fuse hone ke liye zygote banne ke liye embryo banne ke liye bahut time lagta hai that's why sexual reproduction is very slow process so whenever the life originated over the earth simpler organisms were formed prokaryotes were formed and afterwards prokaryotes leads to formation of eukaryotes so simple organisms show asexual reproduction wherein complex organisms show sexual reproduction so out of the two modes of reproduction which is the complex one sexual reproduction why because two parents two different parents are involved here for formation of two different gametes so definitely new organism which is formed is little bit different from the parents which will give rise to variation and recombination in the new organism okay so let's see which are the modes of asexual reproduction very first mode of asexual reproduction which i have written here is fission fission is of two types that is binary fission and multiple fission binary fission is of three types that is simple irregular binary fission simple or irregular binary fission longitudinal binary fission transverse binary fission then coming to the uh, next type of uh, asexual reproduction that is budding budding is of two types exogenous budding and endogenous budding endogenous budding means gemmule formation third type of asexual reproduction is sporulation fourth gamete formation fifth one fragmentation sixth regeneration seventh spore formation and eighth vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction so in this particular session we have just uh, learned about which are the different types of asexual reproduction we'll be learning in detail about each and every type of asexual reproduction with their examples thank you